Welcome to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trend news. Now news from South Africa is that renowned rapper and record producer aka has been shot. Now the South African police departments have confirmed the shooting incident which took place in Durban's Florida Road. According to eyewitnesses aka was shot five times at 8 p.m and was the only individual targeted in the incident. The situation is still developing and the South African police department is actively investigating the shooting. Shooting. The news of AKS shooting highlights the ongoing issue of violence and gun-related incidents in South Africa. The country has struggled with high levels of crime, including shootings, which have caused concern among residents and law enforcement. Another person who is believed to be AKS bodyguard was also wounded, while another unidentified person who is understood to be a close friend of AKA was also shot dead. Earlier, before provincial police confirmed the incident, IOAL had independently confirmed details of the shooting from well-placed police sources who could not be named as they were not permitted to speak to the media. Later, police spokesman Colonel Robert Netshunda confirmed police were investigating two murder cases and they were yet to establish the motive for the murders. Without naming Forbes, he confirmed one of the deceased was a popular musician. It is understood that AKA was standing outside the Wish restaurant when he was gunned down in a drive-by shooting. Two unknown cars are believed to have opened fire just before 10 p.m. Now, from the look of things, the people who gunned him down, first of all, this was very personal. These were people who are following up on him. They knew where he was. But sadly, he also posted his location on his last post on social media that is on his insta stories exactly where he was gunned down and that is where he was having his dinner as you can see from this insta story grab that i have shared with you guys now when it comes to the rapper aka to be honest i did not know much about him until when i covered the story of his late fiance and that is anele tembe who passed away at the age of 22, popularly known as Nelly Tembe. I will link those videos somewhere on the screen because I covered this story extensively on this channel over a year ago. And so the first reports, the moment the story broke out, and you could even see from how I was reporting as the story was continuing to develop, was that Nelly Tembe had allegedly jumped off a building and she had allegedly committed suicide. And this happened at Pepper Club Hotel in Central Cape Town. And so as the story continued to develop, we got to see how toxic, how violent this relationship was. And even this hotel where she had passed on, the room, somebody, I believe, whether it's a family or a friend had taken videos of the surrounding and things were broken in this hotel room. I will link those videos for those who never followed this story. But to this day, AKA and Annelie's family never came into good terms. In fact, last year during her anniversary, he indicated that on his post putting out that he hopes one day they will be able to celebrate her life together and so as you can see this is from his post last year and he passed on on the 11th of april so in exactly two months from today it will be her second anniversary as you can see i remember this day for the rest of my life 11th april 2021 every day i pray for the healing of your family and my family i hope one day we can all come together and pay our respects to you and your memory at the same place and at the same time also note that Annelies' dad never believed that his daughter was suicidal i will also link those videos because he put it out very strongly that his daughter was not suicidal and his daughter did not take her life now i have seen a few things especially on twitter people putting out some posts which um i don't think i want to mention here right now let's just leave the police to do the investigation definitely i will follow this up for you guys but something that people are saying maybe if he had not posted his location maybe he will still be here but these were people who are following him there were people who are targeting him there are people who are on a mission to finish him so i don't think even if he had posted or not posted his location they still would have found a way 
to gun him down but something that people are saying this is it he posted his live location on his instagram story that he was eating at a restaurant few minutes later he was shot dead while coming out of the same restaurant one lesson learned don't let people know your live location stop feasting demons everything that you're doing your enemy might just be next door waiting for an opportunity to strike and as you can see somebody even said here they should have learned it from pop smoke and somebody also says so true and in my opinion probably if he had not posted it maybe he would have not passed on today but still he would have passed on because these people really were on a mission to finish him this was very personal even from how he has been gunned down shot five times they did not want him to make it out alive now he has left a very beautiful daughter he was very proud of his daughter if you could check his social media pages he will post a lot of his daughter how proud he was of her and also according to aka's social media post he was due to perform at a Durban nightclub yugo where he was expected to perform as part of his birthday celebrations his close friend dallas also took to social media to express his shock putting out on twitter unbelievable the announcement of aka's death has been met with shock and sadness as fans and the music industry mourn the loss of the talent talented artist and um even kenyan artists have also expressed their shock i have seen um comments from calligraph jones saudi soul as well so many people have been shocked by the passing of aka medics at the scene confirmed the deaths and also crime scene experts marked at least five spots indicating the presence of bullet casings adding to the ongoing investigations now our thoughts and prayers are with the friends and family of the victims victims during this difficult time as the South African Police Department continues to do the investigation of this shooting. This is a developing story and more information is, is expected to come in the near future. So I will be giving you information as the updates keep coming and the police continue with the investigation. So please subscribe, hit your notification bell so you're notified once those uploads are up. We send our deepest condolences to the family of AKA and also the people who loved him. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.